Pick an egg. If you are like most people, you'll pick the darker yolked one. Some people choose darker yolked eggs because they think they're more nutritious. Others because they think they come from better cared for hens. Most people, though, pick them because they think they'll taste better. So do they? Yes, but also no. Don't worry, I'm gonna explain it all. This is Minute Food. When researchers serve up two plates of eggs, it doesn't matter how they're cooked, one with darker yolks than the other, people almost inevitably say the darker yolked eggs taste better. But when the egg experiment is repeated with the tasters blindfolded, or with the eggs dyed green, as food guru Kenji Lopez-Alt did, people choose the paler yolked eggs as tastier just as often as the darker yolked ones. In other words, without color to go on, people generally cannot taste a difference between eggs with different colored yolks, which at first was hard for me to accept. I couldn't believe that color was basically fooling me into tasting a difference that didn't exist. But the more research I examined and the more experts I consulted, the more sense it made. And before you go egg-scoriating me in the comments, I'm not saying your lovely backyard chickens don't produce delicious eggs. I'm sure they are exemplary. But it turns out there's a lot more to how things taste than just how they taste. For hundreds of thousands of years, we've used all sorts of cues to help us decide whether we should eat something or not. We still do that. I know you've chosen bananas based on how yellow they are, squeezed avocados to pick out the ripest one, sniffed some leftovers to see if they're still fresh, or heard someone crunching chips and just had to have some. These cues all set an expectation of how something's gonna taste before you ever put it in your mouth. Most of the time, these expectations are right. But occasionally, a cue isn't actually related to how something tastes, and that seems to be what's going on with eggs. See, an egg yolk's color comes predominantly from carotenoids, a group of pigments produced by lots of living things, except animals, which get carotenoids from stuff they eat. The more carotenoid-rich foods a hen gobbles up, the darker yolked eggs she'll lay. But you can't taste carotenoids, so eggs with carotenoid-packed yolks don't actually taste different from eggs with yolks low in carotenoids. Yet, based on the color, our brains expect them to taste different. The science of what happens next is complicated, but at least in the case of eggs, our sensory system errs on the side of the prediction. Even though dark yolked eggs may not actually taste better, we experience them as tasting better. But wait, you might be saying, as my exceptionally astute husband did, maybe chickens that eat more carotenoids have a more varied diet overall, and that makes their eggs taste better. And maybe better fed chickens are more likely to be local, so the eggs are fresher and tastier when they get to you which are excellent points and probably do play into our expectation that darker yolked eggs are going to taste better. But they don't seem to create an actual difference in the taste of eggs, or at least not enough of a difference that most consumers can recognize it blindfolded. And here's the other important thing. Darker yolked eggs don't necessarily come from better fed or more local chickens. Because simply by supplementing basic chicken feed with extra carotenoids, like red peppers, chili flakes, marigold petals, orange peels, or synthetic pigments, anyone, even a big commercial producer, can get their hens to lay eggs with almost any shade yolk. There's actually a color guide for this exact purpose. Research has found that people generally prefer yolks of shade 12 or higher, although there's some interesting variation in which shade people around the world prefer. Southern Europe likes a 14. And there's a trend in Japan toward the extravagantly dark 16. And this isn't just an egg yolk thing. The color of salmon works basically the same way. The more carotenoids they eat, the more red tinted their flesh. In fact, the flesh of farmed salmon, which have no natural access to foods containing carotenoids, would be pale gray if the fish weren't given pigments in their feed. And yep, there's a color guide for salmon too, to zero in on an exact shade. Apparently, salmon below 23 is difficult to sell at any price because consumers believe its pale color means it won't taste good. Initially, I just wanted to make a simple video exploring yolk colors, yet here we are. I'm not sure exactly how to feel now that I know that these foods are basically color corrected to fool me into thinking they taste better. I do feel kind of exploited. But at the same time, I am fascinated by the fact that color has such power over what we taste. There are a lot of amazing examples beyond eggs and salmon. A little red food dye makes yogurt taste extra sweet. Eating meat tinted blue can make you feel physically sick. So that old adage, you eat first with your eyes, really is true. And with your other senses too. Food can taste different based on the sounds you're hearing, who you're eating it with, or what mood you're in. Taste, it turns out, is exceedingly complicated. 
And while exposing its nuances might create a bit of an existential crisis, it can also be extraordinarily exciting. Speaking of eggs, let's talk about reproductive health. Yeah, you heard me right. Here in the US, reproductive health is facing some serious challenges right now. And that's putting people in all walks of life at risk. The good news is that just by opening browser tabs, something I bet you do a lot of anyway, you can help protect reproductive rights and provide reproductive health care to people who need it. Because Tab for a Cause, an awesome browser extension I've used for a while, has now partnered with Planned Parenthood and the Center for Reproductive Rights. If you've never used Tab for a Cause before, go check it out. To date, tabbers have raised more than $1.5 million for nonprofits just by browsing the web. This is literally the easiest way to raise money for causes you care about. Download the extension and help support reproductive health care at the link on screen and in the description below.